Oh baby, we're in a storm. Not good. to another video in the Peak District again. Up on top of Grindslow Knoll with Paul Messner, another YouTuber. Been trying to camp with him for well over a year now and we've finally got there. But yeah, we're just waiting for the sun to go down. Today I want to show you a couple of bits of my gear and how I'm using it. I've changed it up a little bit to show you my new gear load out for the summer and spring and maybe autumn we'll see see how far I can take the mat you'll see the mat later on <laughs> but yeah really good so hope you enjoy guys So the pack I'm using is the Atom Packs, if you don't know. Yep, the Atom Packs Atom 40 plus, but I've stripped it back down to no carbon frame and no, no hip belt. And also over here, I have the 1.5 litre Roux, awesome bit of kit brilliant for putting my uh, my video my, well, my phone and my tripod and microphone in but yeah but yeah really pleased with the Atom uh, it's done the sky trail now and I didn't have one problem at all whereas previous backpacks it's it's just been pain in my shoulders but this, this has just come through and brilliant piece of kit, love it. Well worth the money if you ask me. But yeah, Atom Packs, check them out. Link will be down in the description below. Uh, Tom, it's a, it's a, Atom Packs is a cottage company. Everything's custom made and made by Tom and his work made by Tom and his staff in the Lake District in Keswick well, really good That's all the tent all set up. Next bit, get inside sorted. Right, so the first thing, which is the most important bit, is the brew dog Elvis juice for a little bit later on. Then you've got my sleep mat. This is a Halfords roll mat with a coating on top. It's not very thick at all and I've cut it down just so it's my torso length so from my shoulders to my bum. I think off the top of my head it weighs around about 50 grams. It did weigh 85 or something like that but I've cut more off. Uh, I used it on the last camp but I thought I'd cut down a bit more and here we get. Next is my food bag. 
This is a tread light gear, Cuban fiber regular bag, so regular cube. And then we have my Diddy bag, which is the same again, tread light gear, but the weekender Cuban fiber packing cell. Next we have my thermal layer for tonight, just in case it gets cold, which is a Patagonia R1 Tech Face hoodie. Really nice piece of kit. And last but not least is my Rab sleeping bag. Which I just use as a quilt now. Time to put some food on. So my cook system comprises of a Heinz beans fridge pack pot and the Sea to Summit Alpha long spoon, titanium spoon. So I've ditched the stove and the gas and I'm cold soaking today. I'm gonna see how it is. To be fair, I already know how it is. It's nice, I like it, using couscous tuna. So, I'll show you the process. So it's snack time now, I'll, I'll leave that to cold soap. So on the menu, some tuna. We have another new piece of kit, which is the i3e EOS Olight keychain keychain torch, courtesy of Paul Messner's video. Uh, he mentioned that he was sending them out for free, and all you had to do was pay postage. So I've ditched the head torch, and I've gone with this. Now let's get it out and I'll show you. So there it is, a nice little piece of kit. It's it not 
lasts very long, it lasts about 45 minutes. Uh, it takes AAA batteries, so I will always carry a spare, but I can't see me wanting it for longer than that. So yep, now I've ditched the headlight, I've gone with this little beauty. And as we pan around, just over there is my last camp with my son on his first one. Then you've got Ringing Roger. And if we pan around more, that's the Great Ridge, and Mamtor and Loose Hill. And the formidable Kinder Plateau. So tonight will be first test for the duplex. We have some winds around about 25 miles an hour. Not had it in that wind yet, but we shall see how it is. Do some rain later. At the minute, we've got two doors open. So here is my couscous, which has been cold talking for half hour. I'm going to have my tuna, and I'm going to wash it down with a brew dog Elvis juice. Tuna and couscous. So while I enjoy my dinner, I'm going to let you enjoy this sunset. Flat rain sooner than we thought. It started raining. Just enjoying the sunset and then relaxing the temps if it carries on raining. Right, guys, sorry, camera malfunction and the time lapse didn't work, so you didn't get to enjoy the sunset. But I'll drop a picture in of my tent in the sunset now. <laughs> but this is what we've got now, so I'll show you. Still looking nice and red and orange. Cheers. So the rain stopped. Sun's gone down now, just the colours. And during a beer, I'm just relaxing. So that's it. It's lights out time. Gonna get in the tent, get my head down, and get up around about five o'clock for the sunrise, hopefully. If we do some rain, wind's going to stay all night and all morning. Well, yeah, like I say, it's not raining at the minute. Stop now, but we are do some, so we shall see. On that note, I shall see you in the morning. See you later, guys. Right, so it's 2.12 a.m. It's woken up for I've just woken up and this night sky is amazing. Something I've never experienced before. I'm out on the tops, as you know. 
In the distance, I can see the storm rolling in. It's going to be an interesting one. Whoa. 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 Yeah. You know, look out here, mate. You're going to see the night sky in distance. We've got, mm. we've got a storm coming. Need a bit of lightning then. So guys, rolled in, we're going to be in a storm, just started raining, it's been lightning, I've been watching for the last five minutes at least, it's going to be an interesting one. Oh baby, we're in a storm, not good. Right in the middle of it, we're going to see camp and bugger. I don't want to beat my lightning, so we're going to see camp and bugger. Nearly back at the car. Probably another five minutes if that. I think the rain stopped now. It's just the rain dripping off the trees. What an experience that was, guys. We've made it back down, safe. Back to the cars. We're gonna head home now. It's around about half three in the morning now, but it's all passed, but I think we made the right choice to get off. It wasn't do any storm, but it do rain, but no storm, so a rude awakening. Nice to see, like I said, but made the right decision to get off. So, I'm going to end it here, get in the car. And off I go. You on, on camera, mate. You on camera. Well, there's a nice wet form, isn't it? I might, have, I might have rain gear on here, but it's doing nothing. No, so through. So that's it. Signing off. See you on the next one, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell notification and like the video if you like it.